What's up guys, my name's Brandon and today I'm gonna be showing you how to transfer everything from your old iPhone to a brand new iPhone 15, 15 Plus, 15 Pro, or 15 Pro Max. This process is very simple and Apple has improved it yet again this year so you don't have to worry about losing any of your photos, your text messages, your contacts, anything like that. However, there is a big warning for this year and something that you need to do that you haven't had to do in previous years. So we'll touch on that in a moment. We will also cover the process of switching over from a physical SIM to an eSIM. All right, so let's get into it. First off, if you do not see this screen on your iPhone 15 right now, that means you probably already went through the setup process. But if you want to get back so you can transfer all of your data over properly, you can do that after you've already set it up. All you need to do is go into your settings and then go to general and then go down to the bottom where you see transfer or reset iPhone tap on that and then you want to tap on erase all content and settings and erase everything from that phone but if you see this hello screen right now we are ready to go so first off go ahead and swipe up on that and here's where you will select your language now you might see on your old iPhone that this pops up where it says set up new iPhone I would recommend going ahead and doing that as soon as you see it. However, you might not see that right away. So I'll show you why. So if we go ahead and select our language, you're going to get the appearance setting right here. We can select how you want your text and icons to show up. I'm going to choose default. And then right here, when you get to quick start, this is where you might notice that your phone is not picking up your older iPhone. Like your, your new iPhone 15 is not picking up it's not finding your iPhone 14 or whatever you upgraded from nearby now you can lock and unlock your device to see if it finds it that way but it may not work at all so what you need to do is just set up without a device and then connect to Wi-Fi and once you've connected to your Wi-Fi it's going to activate your iPhone and then here is the cause for your new iPhone 15 not detecting your older iPhone we need to do this software update right here so it even tells you it's important update your software now if you want to transfer your data directly from another iPhone so do not update later you need to update now you need to update right away before you can transfer everything over properly and you can see since I already have this phone updated the quick start actually finds the nearby device which is our old iPhone right here so now you just need to unlock to continue if you see that on the lock screen and if you don't see this pop up just lock and unlock your device and it should show up on the lock screen or on the home screen so now you'll see that we have this little circle orb right here we need to scan with our old iPhone the orb on the new iPhone so we're going to just hold this up and scan it there we go and what this is going to do is start transferring all of our data over so it says continue on your other iPhone and then on the old iPhone you can see it says who are you signing in to the iPhone so if you have somebody else on your family you can select them but this is just going to be for me so I'll just get started with it as me now it's going to say finish on new iPhone so now on the iPhone 15 we need to enter the passcode of our old iPhone that we are transferring this data from it's going to activate the device so now we need to transfer over our phone number so whether you have an eSIM or a physical SIM this works the exact same way so what happens if you have a physical SIM is that your physical SIM will basically be converted into an eSIM when you go to switch to the iPhone 15 series but in this case I'm going from eSIM to eSIM so it's going to be even easier so all you need to do is go to transfer from another iPhone which is going to be the iPhone you have right here which you connected to you can also set this up later in settings if you want to but I'm going to transfer right now and you have to confirm that you want to transfer it and it says once that phone number is transferred to this iPhone it will stop working on the other iPhone so let's go ahead and tap on transfer and now we need to confirm the transfer on the older iPhone so it says double click to confirm we're going to double click right there and that confirms the transfer of that eSIM and there we go it says cellular setup complete and it shows your phone number is now active on this iPhone and up in the status bar you can see our cell connection up there those little bars so now let's tap on continue and we get a splash screen about data and privacy we need to continue on this and now we have face ID where you need to set up your face ID so we're going to tap on continue and it's going to tell you how to set up face ID but it's very simple I will just show you all you need to do is position your face in the frame and then just go around in a circle and look for those green lines to fill up go kind of slow because it does take a minute to register your face now you can also use face ID with a mask if you decide to do that I'm going to just decide not to right now but you can also change that in your settings okay so now we are at the most important part of this entire setup so this is how we transfer our data so do you want to transfer it from iCloud or transfer from another iPhone now if you did an iCloud backup before you started this you can go ahead and do from iCloud and it could be quicker if you have a really fast Wi-Fi connection but I prefer 
transfer from iPhone. I think most people should just transfer from an iPhone. And again, this will only work if you updated the software earlier in the video, like I recommended. So we're going to transfer from iPhone here. So you get this really cool animation that shows all of your files and your different applications that are being transferred over. It just says our account is signing in right now. This is our iCloud account. So now it says, make this your new iPhone. And it says, here's everything set up as you had it on your other phone. So you can choose to transfer over pretty much every single thing on your other phone, or you can pick and choose what you want to be on the new phone. So apps and data, do you want your Siri settings and screen time, all of that to transfer over? You can choose what you want. And then down here, you can go to customize if you want to customize, you know, what you want to be transferred over. But I think most people are going to want everything transferred over from their other phone, including their wallet, uh, you know, their credit cards, along with their connections to their Apple watches. So we're just going to go to continue and transfer everything over. Now you get the option to update your iPhone automatically. So I would recommend downloading automatically, maybe not installing automatically. So I'm going to do only download automatically location services. This is a must. We're going to go ahead and enable that. So now it's going to add our Apple account for Apple pay. And you may see some other pop-ups for your other cards as well. If you need to enter in the CVV code. So I had to add in the security code for two different cards of mine. So you can see there, it says card has been added. And now we get a splash screen for emergency SOS. So this will tell us how emergency SOS works and it's not really a toggle. It's just on by default. So we're going to continue on that. So now it's going to begin transferring the data from your your other iPhone. Now the amount of time that this takes is going to vary depending on how much data you have on your old iPhone. So I think for most people, it's probably going to range anywhere from 15 to 30 to 45 minutes. Now at first, if it says it's going to take like an hour or two, just know that it's probably going to be shorter than that. It needs to initiate everything at first. So it's going to give a rough estimate and then it should go down from there. So I will let you know how long mine takes and I will be back once this finishes. And also I would recommend having your phone plugged in or charging while this process is going on. That way you don't run out of battery in the middle of the transfer process. All right. So we are getting down to the end of transferring our data over and you'll notice that when it says time remaining about one minute that one minute usually lasts like five to six minutes so just keep that in mind it's kind of like the one percent battery on your phone how it always lasts longer than it says but we are wrapping up here and there we go right on cue the transfer has completed and it took around 40 minutes for me and i have quite a bit of data like a lot of data being transferred over so yours most likely won't even take that long and also remember the original estimate overshoots that so at first it said two hours then it says it's going to take one hour and in reality it only took about 40 minutes so like i said at the beginning it's going to take a little bit less time than what it says at first so on the old phone we can now tap on continue and now you get the option to erase this iphone so on your old iphone while your new iphone 15 is rebooting and getting all that data set up on your old iphone you will see it now says erase this iphone and it will sign you out of your apple id remove your personal data so this iphone can be safely traded in or given away so you can choose to do that now or you could just select not now and do that at a later point all right so our iphone 15 just rebooted so now we can swipe up and it says restore has been completed let's tap on continue and if you have an apple watch you might notice it says pair watch with new iphone and it asks if i want to use this apple watch with the new iPhone 15, which it keeps the name of my other phone, which is 14 Pro Main. So I'll just select continue. And now I would need to put in the passcode for my watch and it will transfer over and kind of set it up on the new iPhone 15. And now on the iPhone 15, it's gonna show the silent mode toggle. And this is only if you have a pro model with the action button on the side instead of the mute switch. So we're gonna tap on continue there. And then you will also get the prompt to set up the action button. So if you want to customize the action button, which is going to replace the mute switch. So you can choose to have this set to focus modes, camera, flashlight, and many others. I think most people are probably going to do camera. So you can even select where you want this to open up in the camera. So if you want to quickly open up video by pressing and holding on the action button, you can do that right there. So we're going to set that up to video. And now it says, welcome to iPhone. And right once we unlock it, you will see that we have an identical copy to the phone that we just transferred from. So everything from the background, the app location, everything is the same. Now your apps will need to download in the background, but you should remain signed in in all of your social media apps, your mail, 
all of that. And you can see the notification badges, everything is the same unless something happened on the back end, you know, while you were transferring. So I got a text message while I was transferring. So that's why it shows one more here on my old iPhone. And by the way, if you decided to skip the eSIM transfer, you can do that in your settings after unlocking your phone after the full restore. So all you need to do is go into settings and then cellular. And from here, just go to set up cellular. And then from here, you will get the option to transfer from a nearby device. So transfer from nearby iPhone, and then you go into that and it will transfer from one of your other phones. You can see it will show right here on the iPhone 15, for example, it will show transfer phone number and that's how you can do it. Now, if you have issues, you can also use a QR code from your carrier. And then after you set up your iPhone 15, the very first thing you need to do after this video is watch my first things to do video to ensure you're getting the most out of your iPhone 15. So that's going to show you a lot of tips and tricks and things like that. So you can check that out up in the cards and also down in the description below. But that is how you transfer everything from your old iPhone to your brand new iPhone iPhone 15 or 15 Pro. So I hope this video was helpful. If it was, I would appreciate it if you give it a thumbs up. Also, make sure to subscribe for more iPhone 15 tips and tricks. But anyways, guys, thanks again for watching and I'll see you soon.